use my phone. Just, just vibrate it over there. Hello, everybody. It's time for... Come on. Neighborhood community shout outs. All right. Okay. I don't really have any shout outs, but I want to give shout outs to some channels that I watch on a regular basis and I think you guys should watch too. Okay. <coughs> There's more than this, but I'm only going to give you five for today. Okay. Pyro Nation. Go check them out. Awesome channel. The Roberts Reality. He's been on and off and kind of had a couple of different channels, but he is back and sticking with the Roberts Reality, and he wants to really get his channel going. He wants to make it like 100,000 subs. So, baby steps. Let's get them to a thousand subscribers. So go by if you haven't already and check out Anthony and his son Landon on his their new adventure in their life and subscribe to The Roberts Reality. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Tiger TB65, another awesome channel. Um, it's a couple. And he sings on their channel. They go on hikes. They uh, get they've seen some haunted places and you know kind of stuff like that. I don't know if they actually do investigations, but they've come across on their hikes some interesting places. So, but his singing, I I love it. I love it. And you could get CDs. So go by and check out his channel on. Give him a thumb up, thumbs up and show him some love. Shalene TV. Shalene TV. You guys need to go check her out. Awesome channel. She does podcasts and she does some music stuff. But she is excellent, excellent at helping people um, work out their anxiety and, and their stresses and stuff like that. So excellent channel. Go check her out. My Uploaded Life. Excellent channel. I found out some new things about their channel this week that I never knew and makes me love them even more. Go by and check them out. They're amazing. Okay, now my question yesterday was, what is one fas fashion trend you hope never comes back and why? A lot of you said the mullet. Okay. And I'm going to have to, you know, say a little something about that. Right now, Kevin's hair is growing. I, I do not have a mullet. You do not have, he does not have a mullet. But he even says sometimes your hair looks like well, a mullet. My hair is growing and I comb it straight back and over my ears. So it's all going down the back of my head. Right. A mullet I mean, is short in front. This is all long, but it's not long enough for me to, right. to do anything. So right. at times... Kevin's hair does look like a mullet. It's not a mullet. Even though it's not a mullet. So right now, I would have to say that I don't care if the mullet comes back for a short period of time while Kevin's hair may at times look like a mullet. It's not a mullet. <laughs> I like Kevin's hair. It's not a mullet. It's not a mullet. But I like Kevin's hair. Okay. I want it to grow all long and one length. I know that's not going to happen because when he gets a job, he's going to have to cut it. But I like Kevin's hair. I think he looks very handsome. Okay? Moving on. Lord Gierno. Parachute pants. He said he's never seen them or worn, worn them in person, but they're very ugly. So you obviously have seen them. Maybe pictures of them or something, but parachute pants. I remember parachute pants. I, 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 I used to wear parachute I pants. I never had a pair of parachute pants. I did. I thought they were just dumb. Yeah, I wore them. Okay, and okay, I got to read Terry Johnson's story. Okay. Fishnet stockings, she hopes, never comes back. 
<laughs> I was wearing fishnet stockings with a mini skirt in high school English class. When the bell rang, I could not stand up. My stockings got wrapped around the bolt on my seat. My teacher had to tear my stockings loose, so I had this big hole in my stockings. There was a bunch of guys in the doorway teasing me and calling my name as the teacher was setting me free. I was really embarrassed. Nowadays, the stockings with the big holes in them is the style. Yes, yeah, I've seen fishnet stockings with holes in them. Yeah, that is the style. <laughs> But very funny story. You're a trend setter. <laughs> yeah, you, you probably set that trend there, Terry. Maybe you could have been a millionaire. <laughs> Crimson Fairy. Polyester leisure suits. I used to have one of those. I did. It must have been about 1977. Maybe 76. Okay, so FUD 64. She does not want to see bell-bottom flowered cloth pants and choking turtlenecks come back. She sees <laughs> pictures of herself dressed like that, and she says to herself, Mom, what were you thinking? <laughs> well, y'all know, first off, that I'm a hippie. I'm like a big hippie. I grew up by Woodstock, so I'm a big hippie. Bell-bottoms, I can handle. Flowers on the bell bottoms, I can handle. Complete flower pants, nah, I can pass on those, even though I'm a hippie. Those I can pass on. Turtlenecks, never liked them. The flowy turtlenecks, now those I liked in the wintertime back in New York when I wasn't always hot. That's all changed. When was that? When I was in school. Okay. And I weighed all of 80 pounds. Okay, um, another mullet. <laughs> Cole today, I have to agree with you 100% on your answer. Men's skinny jeans, you know. But no, men should not wear skinny jeans. They should not wear skin tight jeans. Nope, uh uh. Never. Mm -mm. Nope. Okay, and then Tresemme won. Let's see. <laughs> Polyester jumpsuits for both men and women. Jumpsuits. Okay. I've never wore a polyester jumpsuit, but yeah, I don't think I'd like to see anything polyester come back. I don't like the material. So that's what I have. What would you like to not see come back? Okay, so. so I'm, I'm having a hard time deciding. What about your Miami Vice clothes? But I liked my Miami Vice clothes. Okay, baby. Okay. All right, for me, there's, there's a few things, but for me, the number one thing, and I don't know if it was everywhere or what, but I remember being in high school and in the winter time wearing these big steel toe boots that come all the way up to your mid calf and you had to lace them all the way up. Now I was all of 80 pounds in high school, okay, so I was really tiny and I wore these big boots and they make your feet look really big. And everybody used to tease me and tell me I looked like the capital letter L because of how big my boots made my feet look. There you are. So that used to, <laughs> that, that's what, but I think they're still in trend because Sarah wears these black steel toed boots a lot. So, you know, so I don't know. I, I don't know. I remember going through all of that stuff, and most of the time it was because I couldn't find anything else. This, that's all they were selling. We were just talking about the, the pants that had the suspenders, that you don't put the suspenders on. They just dangle around your ankles. I remember buying those because you couldn't get anything else. Can you imagine me wearing those? I'd be falling every five seconds. And I remember shirts in the 70s that were made of terry cloth kind of clothes. Yeah, yeah. Very strange. 
Yeah. And uh, bib overalls. Bib overalls. I remember. I had bib overalls. In so high did I. I loved them with bell bottoms. I remember buying them because, you know, everybody's wearing them. I know. Platform shoes should never come back. You could probably use up some platform. I probably couldn't walk in them. I'd probably hurt myself. Some people will actually be able to see it. <laughs> okay. So, my question for today is, are you a creature of habit? Explain. It's time for a neighborhood community credit roll. Should we do the ear again, guys? <laughs> okay, so, so. last night's question had to do with a um, scary movie from the year 2000, the Wayne Brothers. And uh, I was just a simple question. Um, there was a lot of a very there were tons of sight gags in this show. It was just probably more than you could think of. So I just asked, what was the high school name? And it was B.A. Corpse High School. B.A. Corpse. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> Such a knee slapper. And those who got it right was Terry Johnson, Cole Today, Greg Myers, Bambi S, and Tresemme One. Okay, so tonight's question has to do with not a particular movie, but a director of movies by the name of, of James Wan. He directed, wrote and directed the original Saw, and uh, The Conjuring, and uh, Insidious, and Insidious 2, and uh, he has a trademark uh, that shows up in every one of his movies. What is that trademark that, that shows up? There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all. There. Get back up here. Very much. <laughs> Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> Make sure to go by and check out everything else we do. And we will see you all tomorrow.